With increased concerns about the environment, climate change and energy economy and self-sufficiency, district heating and cooling is an obvious choice for public and private utility companies in many countries. In this context, Denmark has a lot to offer. With over a century's hands-on experience in developing and operating district heating systems, Danish industry has evolved as the world leader in district heating and cooling technology. Denmark is the home of the world's largest manufacturer of pre-insulated pipes. The concept of pre-insulation was invented here in 1960 and is now the industry standard worldwide. Denmark is also the home of Europe's foremost manufacturer of pumps and pump control systems to move liquid media in complex industrial and civil installations, such as in district heating and cooling systems. And also the home of one of the world's largest manufacturers of thermostats and thermostatic control systems, essential to the efficient and reliable operation of any district heating and cooling utility. And hundreds of companies in the Danish energy sector have developed specialized equipment and technologies to meet many of the core requirements of industrial and public utility systems, providing boilers, flue gas treatment technologies, state-of-the-art control systems, flow metering and all the other essential components in a modern district heating or cooling system. Denmark is also the home of unparalleled expertise in the fields of specification, systems design and project management, with the combined resources of a wide variety of independent consulting engineers, as well as some of the prominent utility operators in the Danish energy sector, who also offer consultancy services to overseas clients. Thanks to a rapidly growing export market, employment in the Danish district heating and cooling sector has increased fourfold since 2003, providing lasting employment in local communities for over 9,000 people. With over 60% of Danish homes and buildings served by district heating, the industry has long recognized the importance of its export markets. Many Danish district heating manufacturers and consultants have established operations in other countries and have a wide experience of adapting technologies and solutions to local needs and conditions. The establishment of a new district heating or cooling system is more than a simple question of technology and infrastructure. To harvest all the potential benefits requires that district heating or cooling becomes an integrated component in a wider energy policy. Through a partnership between the main suppliers to the industry and Denmark's major district heating utility companies, advice is available to local government and utility companies in other countries. For many nations, district heating or cooling are new and untried concepts, which raise many new questions regarding the creation of a network infrastructure and the adaptation of current market practices to suit a collective heating or cooling model. Denmark has the experience, manufacturing capacity and engineering know-how necessary to successfully develop district heating and cooling systems anywhere. Whilst conserving energy and reducing waste have always been sound economic goals for any industrial development, Local and central governments and the energy industry worldwide now face new and more urgent challenges. The greater the commitment of the international community to reducing CO2 emissions and combating climate change, the greater the need for real savings in the energy we consume. District heating and cooling offer a unique opportunity. No other technologies can offer such vital improvements in environmental performance nor such dramatic reduction in total energy consumption without reducing the standard of living or productivity of a nation. The evidence to support this claim is all too clear in Denmark. Just imagine, in Europe, district heating currently enjoys a market share of less than 10%. If all the existing infrastructure was modernized and the market share were doubled, 
European energy consumption would fall by an amount equivalent to the total annual energy consumption of Poland. And CO2 emissions would fall by 400 million tonnes per year, equivalent to the total annual CO2 emissions from fuel consumption in France. Now, just imagine the unimaginable. What would be the effect on CO2 emissions and energy consumption if all European countries were to achieve a market share for district heating of 60%, equal to that of Denmark? And what would be the effect if a similar share of existing air conditioning was met by district cooling? Seen in this perspective, do not many of the ambitious goals of the current climate debate seem to be within our reach? Imagination might just be the solution. <laughs>